Shalom Yama. Hi. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. Good to be here. Thank you for a wonderful performance in uh, the old south of uh, Tel Aviv. I believe the best uh, way to open this uh, conversation of ours will be why Yama. In Hebrew it sounds much better, Lama Yama. <laughs> First of all, we think that uh, Yama is also uh, a catchy name in uh, any language. It's a, it's, a, it's a very simple word, Yama. Um, Ari, do you want to talk about Yama means? Man, Yama has uh, a, lot of meanings. a few yeah. meanings. Uh, in Hebrew? In Hebrew, it's, it means towards the sea. West, the sea, west, you know. From the famous uh, yeah. biblical phrase, yeah. Yama Vakedma Tzafona Vanegba. In Arabic it means mother. Yama. Okay. And in Spanish it means it means flame. In Japanese it means mountain. Really? Yes. Yeah. And, and in English it means tasty. Yummy. <laughs> 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 Indian. Ah, Yama. Yes. In, in the Indian by the by the Buddhism it's the um, virtual standard. Guys, it's uh, quite clear for anybody who attended this uh, wonderful performance of yours and all those who had the privilege of hearing you all over the world, because I know you are touring a lot, that despite being an Israeli band, you are showing tremendous knowledge and respect to the music of our neighbors both near and far. For example, Talia, you have sung songs from Armenia, Bulgaria, in addition to Egyptian and Lebanese songs. How did you, how did you come to master our neighbor's music? I, I think one of the, uh, our parents come from these uh, countries so uh, something in the blood is already there and, and they brought with them their uh, the culture that was developed there um, in the instance uh, my father came from uh, Baghdad and there were a lot of musicians in Iraq uh, that, uh, that, 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 that played the, the Arabic music and it, 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 it came like uh, naturally and when you live here in the Middle East you have to be influenced by the music but it, it, it's all around you. It's also much more natural for me to sing uh, in Arabic than in English. I live in the Middle East. There's no reason, um, as I see it, to sing uh, English. To be influenced by, you know, the English culture, or American culture, whatever it is. More than the cultures that yeah, are around actually it. around us, you know. <coughs> My main instrument actually is, uh, is wood, which is an art instrument. Uh, I feel like uh, very natural to play art music, art music, to play modern rock and roll or jazz or whatever. You also had like people from your family playing the wood yeah, exactly. and the violin. Yeah, exactly. The, the name is for it's from uh, Morocco actually. It's not from Israel. So. I think once it uh, comes to music, uh, so. Um, Music, uh, probably a lot of people said it before, but uh, music has no boundaries. And once you, uh, uh, music gets your soul, and, uh, and this music is part of our souls, it doesn't matter what. So that, that's how we uh, connect to it. And uh, I, I believe that one of uh, the best things that happened here tonight was that uh, one uh, very old myth was broken thanks to Talia uh, forcing Avri to sing a Yemenite song, <laughs> uh, which means a Shiknazi can sing Yemenite. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> um, funny that you mention it. I'm half. Ashkenazi have uh, Mizrahi, my father is from uh, Uzbekistan, 
is uh, Bukhari. Okay. Actually, um, I think all of us, all all of us are, are a mixture are from a mixture of Ashkenazi and Sephardic. So we have uh, we're lucky. We have abilities to do both. Yeah. And this is the beautiful outcome <laughs> of this mixture, which uh, normally is called fusion. In the Israeli case, we can even start talking about confusion, <laughs> which is only doing great things uh, for music. This is actually what we do um, uh, around the world. We also um, do workshops. And uh, when we explain to people about the music in Israel, um, it's quite complicated, but what we really try to do is bring all the flavors that we have, uh, that, 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 that we're influenced uh, from. And uh, actually, I think in these years, uh, we developed like a, some kind of method where uh, I think from little kids to uh, college students to senior citizens, you know, they, they get it, they really enjoy it, they, they love listening to the different instruments, different influence and the different languages. And I must say that your uh, spectrum uh, is quite impressive. You are not only covering uh, geographically, you are also covering music uh, on a timeline. For example, you have sung and performed uh, today Israeli songs that were written long before there was Israel. Not to mention the biblical beautiful song. Yes, the, the thing about um, these songs is uh talk about this in our workshops is the, how they were created actually they were created I think these songs were the first um, mix between East and West it was uh, the, the, the composers that came, that came from uh, uh, Eastern uh, Western countries to these uh, uh, special Arabian melodies and harmonize them uh, like uh, Yadon Bright an Arabian uh, melody and also um, and it's, it's actually for us, it's exploring the roots and uh, Israeli um, first songs through our world. Wonderful. Uh, what is for Yama in the near uh, future and uh, in the far future? Are we going to have a tour in the US? Yeah, in, 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 yeah, in a month we're going to be there for a while. Going to, to Europe. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. And I understand uh, the, from uh, Yoni that uh, in addition for uh, being such an important member of Yama, you have joined forces recently with another singer who is trying to build a cultural bridge between her current home and her homeland, Iran. It's Rita. And it's funny because we have just interviewed her last week. So I, I think what the, uh, the thing that is happening in the last years in the Israeli music scene is like uh, people are going back to their roots. People are, are you know, are uh, trying to uh, find where, where, where their childhood music was. Like what, what are the beautiful influences about this area? And I think what we're doing that we are uh, singing songs from Lebanon. Uh, or Rita doing the Persian songs, I think uh, it shows that uh, also what I said before, music has no boundaries. When it's beautiful and it comes from a deep place and from a good place, it can uh, reach the world. And maybe the best way to conclude this uh, conversation with uh, Yama, just before we wish you all the best and all the success in the world. Aviad, would you like to say something after <laughs> playing? So brilliantly, the drums and the percussion. This is a question from Aviad to Aviad. Thank you. Yama, thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck.